Race 17 of 36, the midway point of the Monster Energy season, brings us to the site of Dale Jr.'s famous slide job call on his very first job at NBC, Chicagoland Speedway for the running of the Overton's 400. I think we probably have the best average finish out of everybody. Kind of hard to go back and look through your past races in this game. So, if we're looking at the point standings right now, so if we're going based off points, so everybody in the top 10, kind of shocking to see Martin Truex, guys like Truex, Boyer, and Joey Logano currently winless because in real life 2018, they already had a few wins in their belt. And guys like Kyle Larson having one win, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin having two, Jimmy Johnson and Eric Jones with some wins. And then you kind of see Paul Menard sitting in uh, P16 for the playoffs. So Paul Menard currently is 16 points behind, so he needs to have Pretty good run here, but of course, a win from anybody in any of these 10 drivers would uh, basically negate any of that. Any concerns of points or needs, because you got to be at least in the top 30. One. And two. You got to win. So, obviously, with our win last week at Sonoma, we moved back to first in points. It's going to be the Kevin Harvick and William Byron show all the way to the, probably to Homestead, if this keeps up. When this track opened up in 2001 is the th one of the three most recent tracks to join the Monster Energy Cup Series circuit. This racetrack is a 1.5 mile oval located in Joliet, Illinois with probably the only unique feature out of 90% of the cookie cutter facilities these drivers race on with that weird slight curve on the back stretch. So coming to the green flag, you want to bring it to at least 190. And with this race being moved from the opening chase race to July, where the temperatures are a lot hotter, you're going to see guys probably move up a little bit into one groove, considering the because how slick it is. Right now, we are cruising around off of turn four. And that will put us 10th. So Eric Jones and Kyle Bush won the pole. Last 1.5, last intermediate track we raced on. Eric Jones won the race. Let's go racing. So Eric Jones seems to have a really fast car today. Kevin Harvick gave up his qualifying spot for new tires. He will be starting last. So we move up one spot. Pace car is off. 
Eric Jones and Kyle Busch will bring them down. We are underway in the Windy City. There they go down the back stretch, that slight curve, making our way into three. Trix didn't really give us a lot of room there, so we kind of dipped it to the bottom of the track before risking a wreck on lap number one. Eric Jones has taken the early lead. We're going to go on the outside and really throw the Toyota party off, but we're on the far outside lane as we slide all the way back to the eighth position. Ooh, tried forcing Ryan Blaney into the middle there to get some spots. There's Joey Logano coming up on our inside. And three wide with Ricky Senhouse and Ryan Blaney. And going to try to get by Trex on the inside. But... That didn't go through. Is we're going to get by him and Denny Hamlin for the lead for third. Eric Jones currently taking a small lead over Kyle Busch. Already has a couple wins here in at this track. He won the. Night race in 2008 over Jimmy Johnson when this race was held around the same time it came in the summer as it is now. And he also won in 2018 being part of that slide job call with the 42 of Kyle Larson. That battle, I'm not going to lie, was pretty damn fun to watch. Just seeing Larson and Bush going after each other. Larson came up, cut off Bush off two, and then both of them into the wall. I swear to God, I thought both of them were going to wreck off of that last turn. Just watching it. So Eric Jones with a slight advantage. Four laps to go in stage one. Eric Jones has already locked himself into the playoffs with a win at Charlotte a few races ago. Make that three to go now. Go on board the 24 Chevrolet. Whoa, a little, little bit of interesting contact there. As we're coming down the back stretch, so far we're starting to distance ourselves from the 78 of Truex by about a little over half a second. Half a second. Kyle Bush and Denny Hamlin will round out the top five. Two laps to go in stage one, and the caution has come out already. Just as Eric Jones took the two to go, you can see all the drivers with playoff points. And we're going to open up stage two with Eric Jones to our inside, and we are back underway here at Chicagoland. Ten laps in this stage. We currently tried having half a car length, but Eric Jones gets a runoff two with Truex following suit in second. Is still side by side. We have to give up the spot with Truex sliding into second. 
Eric Jones leads this lap. He led pretty much the entirety of stage one as we gave Truex a nice little shot to the lead. And we have a new leader at Chicagoland. New leader, and it looks like William Byron's going to try to follow. Couldn't make it stick yet. On the dash of the of William Byron. So far, we have about 13 laps on fuel. So we could probably make it to the end of this stage and a little bit of the next as well. Only one caution, and that was for somebody wrecking, ending the stage. Seven to go. Truex takes the lead, followed by Eric Jones, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, and Brad Keselowski moving into the top five. So next, the next race will be at Daytona for the Coke Zero Sugar 400 as the caution's out again. Really wish we had replays. So getting ready for the restart. Trex brings him down for... The green flag, we're all ready to the inside. And we just took the lead in one move on the inside, all the way from bottom to top. Look at this. Three laps to go in the stage. Here's Truex going to the inside. A little bit of contact there. Truex does not get... Not giving an inch. He's taking everything there. He's coming off of four. We will see two laps left in stage two. It is Truex, Byron, Keselowski, Eric Jones, and Kyle Busch, the top five. As Eric Jones continues to slip back. And he's under attack possibly by the 12 of Ryan Blaney. Coming off of turn four, we'll see the white flag this time here at Chicagoland. Still right to the back bumper of Truex. Going to be trying to steal a stage here. Looking to the inside. This could get big. Inside. Byron, he hit the curve side by side off of four for the stage. Contact. Getting a little physical. And it is Truex taking the stage. Kind of tagged him there at the end. So now we got some new players here in the top 10. Truex, I think he stayed out. And how about Kevin Harvick? Starting last, pretty much shotgun. He's currently in 12th right now. Not a lot of stage points for the four team. And as there's all the drivers that probably gambled on pit strategy. Way to the inside goes William Byron. It's worth three wide with Boyer, possibly for seventh. Boyer and Hamlin. And that's going to be the spot. As we're going to try to go to our inside of teammate Chase Elliott. As we go back into the top five with Truex, Bush, Jones, Keselowski, Byron, and Blaney in the top six. Blaney taking high. 11 to go. 
Four cars under a blanket. Three of them are Toyotas. This could be fun. Swing into the ins outside. Ten to go. A little bit of co more contact. Here comes Boyer with a massive head of steam. Taking the fourth spot. Truex has a small lead over the 18 of Bush, but it is probably going to shrink here in the next lap or so. Nine to go here at Chicagoland. Top five currently remains unchanged for the most part. Going back to the onboard view, way to the inside. Could we go for it? Oh, contact between teammates. Jones to second after all this. You know, he does, he's also looking for his second win of the year to possibly join Harvick in this midseason stretch of possible championship contenders and favorites. Crossover with Boyer. Remember, if you win, you're in. And Truex, Boyer, and Byron are the top three. The top two have not won a race. Truex, 0.2 back from, from the Boyer, 0.2 back from the leader. Inside of Boyer, he almost won Pocono, but got wrecked late. Sliding up. Six to go at the line. This could be... This is shaping up for a wild finish, I think. Nine laps of fuel left in the car. Hard racing with the 14. And this might be all Truex needs to possibly pull away. Six to go. And a full head of steam. to the 78 of Truex. Massive head of steam. You think this will probably be the calm before the wreck fest at Daytona. Five laps to go. Byron tries to take the lead with Truex. I don't think... He did Truex want to? Not sure if Truex got the stage. Yeah, he won stage two. He's going to try to win it and get his first win. Here comes Byron setting it on the outside. He's still all over him. Byron, he's a great. Just needs to not get too aggressive and tear his car up. He's got the lead, but the question is how long? Truex drives in up top. A little bit of contact. Th Boyer coming into the party. Three wide. He sees what Truex and Byron are doing. He wants a piece of the action. Three cars in one blanket. Two of them have not won a race. Three laps to go. Byron to the outside. Using that far outside lane so far has proven to be a detriment. Byron's into the wall. Kind of try to see if we can get a draft off of Boyer to possibly get to the lead and maybe make this a really tight finish. Contact. And Truex getting a little squirrely, saves it. Boyer and Byron continue to fight. Two laps to go. Boyer will take the lead. Truex will fall in line. I think Byron's going to probably have to send it here if he wants this race. 
The white flag is out here at Chicagoland. Clint Boyer leads. Truex may have used up his stuff. Boyer with the lead. Byron, can he get to him? He's got it. Last lap. Boyer charges back. Oh, contact, and that will be it. Clint Boyer wins at Chicagoland. Wow. We kind of sent it most of the race. So it was Chris Buescher that fell out of the race, and I think A.J. Allendinger had some late issues. So there's the results.